If you have experienced the fresh air and temperature difference while passing through a patch of trees on a motorbike or a car with its windows down, or can you remember the morning dew on grass or that refreshing sea breeze in the coastal areas? And sometimes now you miss these. This documentary on climate change and heat wave may answer some of your questions. For centuries, we have lived a life quite harmonious with the environment. But since the 1800s, our unaccounted accumulation of wealth and power has disrupted the ecological balance, primarily due to the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas. On one hand, the frequency and magnitude of traditional calamitic upsets such as droughts, floods, snowstorms, and rains is increasing. On the other hand, newer threats are being observed, such as melting of polar ice and glaciers, sea intrusion, wildfires, flash floods and cloudbursts. One of the more recent human-induced climatic change is the heat wave. In 30 years, on an average, heat waves killed 150,000 people each year, across 43 countries on five continents. 2022 broke a 100-year heat record in the subcontinent. Next year broke the previous record and now in 2024, each month from January to June has broken all previous records, indicating 2024 could well be the hottest year globally. If there are heat stroke cases, it should be 100% or 200% in the environment. It should be cold weather. Chahiye. A terrifying fact about heat waves is their impact is greater in the largely populated urban areas as opposed to nearby rural areas. The impact increases due to urban heat islands which become heat traps. Much of the heat absorbed by urban structures during daytime gets released slowly till the next day, only to be further amplified because of high pressure above, poor ventilation and heavy usage of cooling systems. पहले ये होता था कि हमारे पास पेशेंट्स आते थे लेकिन हम लोग इतना रिकॉग्नाइज नहीं करते थे ट्रीट नहीं कर पाते थे क्योंकि एक स्पेसिफाइड सेंटर नहीं था हमारे पास ट्रीट करने के लिए कोई जगह ही नहीं थी हम खुद इतनी गर्मी में थे कहां से हीट स्ट्रोक को ट्रीट करते एट हाई टेंपरेचर एंड ह्यूमिडिटी द परस्पिरेशन प्रोसेस स्लोस डाउन व्हिच कैन लीड टू हीट एग्जॉस्शन और एग्जर्शन एंड कोलैप्सिंग स्टैटिस्टिक्स इंडिकेट द मेजॉरिटी ऑफ हीट वेव विक्टिम्स आर लेस रिसोर्सड living in congested urban areas, lacking means of air conditioning, or water and proper electricity supply. Like a person came from a case, the heat stroke. High grade fever and dry skin came from a case. And it was a lethargic. It means that it was a lethargic. We had put it in the IV line, in the AC, so it was a little bit in 3-4 hours. As the climate crisis is changing shapes and reaching newer areas with least predictability, the traditional methodology for carrying out humanitarian work is becoming less effective. To fill the gap an international network of humanitarian organizations known as START Network was formed 10 years ago, comprising of local and national NGOs on five continents, the network has already delivered assistance to millions of people. The Pakistani hub, Ready Pakistan, was closely monitoring the weather and on-ground potential of local governments. Early indicators predicted fair chances of fatal heat waves, it was just a matter of time and place which would be hit the hardest. Larkana, formerly known as Chandka, has a population of over 2 million with around 30% living in the city areas. Lying in the northwest of the historical Indus River, the district is known for its extreme temperature. More than 52 centigrade Larkana ka temperature jota uber chala gaya tha. LHDP and Pahal Pakistan, both headquartered in the Sindh province, have years of experience responding to natural and man-made calamities. The nexus, comprising the START network, Ready Pakistan, LHDP and Pahal Pakistan, anticipated that the district Larkana, particularly the city areas, may face extreme hot weather and most likely heatwave situation. LHDP and Pahal Pakistan developed a project, Anticipatory Actions Against the Heatwave Hazard. Aim of the project was zero deaths in the district due to heatwave. This project is the main goal of the heat in the heat. We can help people with the heat in the heat. We can help the organizations engaged the local government, Rescue Department 1122, Healthcare Department and the Civil Society, 
to make adequate arrangements before the heat wave occurred. For a capacity building, two days ago, we had a workshop in Larkana, which was all the CSOs and the government department, the government department, the government department, and after that, we discussed an anticipatory action, and then we made a plan for a district. Before, AC and other things didn't happen, so we had a lot of problems, but now, it feels good to me, it feels good to me, it feels good to me, it feels good to me. सही साफ पानी ते हम दुआ है ऐ उन्हें अम्ब्रेला ऐ स्टूडेंट के लाइफ फैसिलिटीज फैसिलिटेट कर हुआ है जिए जिए हुए ना हिना हीट वेब्स के सही तरीके सां गुजार सकना के बियर करे सकन ऐ हिना गर्मी जे मौसम में गर्मी जे मौसम में हित्ते सही तरीके सां सेल्फ स्टडी करे सकन हमने लेडी हेल्प वर्कर को हीट वेब असांके छटरी ना होती हुई पांची पोलियो जी पेड़ खड़ी हुआ मथे ते रखना हुआ यासे इतने यासा उस समय कम करना हुआ यासे असां बहुत ज़्यादा ट्रेक हम वडी कम करें उन तापर ये बेस्ट पेरे उन सेशन थे हुआ जेको असांके गर्मी जी बचाओ जी खातेरे असांके दिनों थन ये छटरी भी नहीं थने ये विंजरो भी दिनों थने रोमाल दिनों थने ये वाटर कूलर दिनों थने ये जो कूलिंग पॉइंट्स से वो हमने अलमोस्ट जितने भी पब्लिक एरियाज हैं जो यूएचआईज के एरियाज हैं उसमें हमने कायम किए थे और उस कूलिंग पॉइंट के नतीजे में हमने तकरीबन दो लाख से ज़्यादा its preventive measures and the available services. We have also sent the messages on the radio through the heat web so that people can be aware of it and can be aware of the heat web. As a direct result of anticipatory actions by all the stakeholders, this year till 17th of July, zero deaths occurred in the Larkana division. Contrary to the long-standing beliefs, Climatic adversaries are occurring at an unimaginable pace and in areas which were once considered safe. En-ROADS, an interactive climate projection algorithm developed by MIT and Sloan Sustainability Initiative shows how changes in various propositions can slow or boost climatic effects. If the current situation persists, the world will be 3.3 degrees Celsius hotter by 2100. Pakistan's contribution to greenhouse gases is less than 1%. Yet the country has been pushed into severe climatic poverty. Just in a couple of centuries, the capitalist mindset, craving for wealth and power has devastated the lives and livelihoods of those living simple lives, already struggling for resources to save themselves. Countries which have and are gaining wealth at the cost of people's right to live and prosper should be made accountable for their wrongdoings. Likewise, on the part of international forums on climate change lies a big responsibility to ensure justice is delivered swiftly and quickly.